Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and you're watching Nick Ink Artistry. I'm so excited for today's video. I have something really new and fun and fresh. So I don't know if it's a secret, but I love Harry Potter with all my heart. I mean, I literally have the Deathly Hallows here behind me. My ring says always, and I have red hair like a Weasley. So I think it's only natural that I live for Harry Potter. And if you know anything about Harry Potter, there is a sorting hat quiz that you can take that literally puts you in whatever house it finds you fit. Now I've already taken the quiz like probably three years ago. So I don't know if my house is gonna change or if it's gonna stay the same, but it's been a couple years since I figured I could do it here on this channel. And then whatever house it puts me into, I'm gonna do a makeup accordingly. But especially because I just ordered these Harry Potter brushes on Amazon. It came with five little brushes that are literally just like Harry Potter wands as brushes. I love this so much. They're like little mini wands. So I figured with my new eyeshadow brushes, I might as well do like a Harry Potter themed video makeup kind of look. But as I was planning this video, I realized that Nikki Tutorials also did this video about a year ago on her channel. So I'll of course link that one below if you want to go check that out. But she literally did the same thing. Although she actually had like the real sorting hat that you put on your head. I'm just going to be doing it on thewizardingworld.com. And of course, I will link that below. So if you want to see what your Hogwarts house is too, you can find out down below. And then while I'm doing my makeup, I think I'm just going to take like a Harry Potter quiz and kind of test my knowledge of Harry Potter. So I think that'd be kind of fun. So if you want to see what house I'm sorted into and what kind of makeup look I come up with, do keep on watching. All right, guys, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown of the four Hogwarts houses. That way, if you don't know anything about Harry Potter, you can still kind of follow along a little bit. So, of course, we have Gryffindor, which their colors are like maroon and gold. And I would say as a Gryffindor, you are very brave. Brave is like the main word that sticks out to me when I think of Gryffindor. And then we have Hufflepuff, which is yellow and black. And Hufflepuff is just very nice. If you're like a very overly nice person, you don't have a mean bone in your body, you're probably a Hufflepuff. And we do have Ravenclaw, which is blue and I think black technically too. Ravenclaw, I feel like is just like really smart. Like if you're really smart, you're a Ravenclaw. And then last but not least, oh no, no. We have Slytherin, which is green and I think usually black as well. But if you're Slytherin, you might be evil. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, it's really what they are. They're just evil. So, all right. So it's asking dawn or dusk. And I am a night person. I am dusk. All right. So our next question is, which of the following would you like to study? We have merpeople, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, or ghosts. All right, I'm going with mer people because I feel like I'm a mermaid, low key. So that is the one. All right, our next question is, which row tempts you the most? So we have four to choose from. The twisting leaf strewn path through the woods. The wide, sunny, grassy lane. The narrow, dark, lantern lit alley. The cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. Ooh, okay. I'm going to say, I think I'm going to say the wide, sunny, grassy lane. And already the questions are definitely different from the ones that I've answered like a long time ago. And I kind of think I am to be in a different house, which I'm like, oh, no. So I guess we're going to see. All right. So which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Loneliness, boredom, hunger, being ignored, or cold? Ooh, <laughs> Well, I'm a very irritable person in all of these categories, really. I would say either like hunger or cold. I'm gonna say cold. I'm really not nice when I'm cold. Ooh, so our next question is telling us to choose a category to continue. So our categories are cats, toads, or owls. Ooh, I love owls. I think I'm gonna do owls. I love cats too, though. All right, so now it's asking if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A barn owl, tawny owl, a snowy owl, screech owl, or a brown owl. I think a snowy owl for sure. Just like Hedwig, I would be a snowy owl. Next question is, what kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The piano, the drum, the violin, or the trumpet? Definitely the piano. I used to play piano when I was way, way, way younger. 
don't know any of it now, which is really saddening. All right, next question. How would you like to be known to history? Ooh, so it's asking the great, the wise, the bold, or the good? I mean, I would say the good, but I know that'll automatically just put me in Hufflepuff, and I'm not a Hufflepuff. Maybe the great? All right, and this might be the last question, but it's asking left or right? This is a trick question, it really is. I know this is gonna make or break it. I mean, if I were to go down a path, left or right? I don't know, let's just say left, why not? Ooh, oh my gosh, here we go. Oh no, I'm not ready, oh no. Oh, she's still loading, we don't even know. Oh, the sorting hat is ready to make its decision, it says, okay. Is it because, because I'm not ready? Continue, oh yes, 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 yes. I'm a Slytherin, yes! So this is literally already the house that I knew I was gonna be in. Yes, girl, we're still Slytherin. Low key, I'm kind of taking back what I said before about them being evil. We're not all evil, I'm just saying that's like the biggest, most known characteristic, I guess you can say. Ooh, so what it says, so I'm a Slytherin. Of course I am, of course. You probably know that some of the Slytherin's most renowned members include Severus Snape and Bellatrix Lestrange, but did you know Merlin himself was a Slytherin? And then it does continue to say a couple more famous Wizarding World Slytherins. Of course, Lord Voldemort himself. Ooh, we have Draco Malfoy, Severus Snape, 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 Severus Snape. All right, so here are some little things about Slytherin especially. Our emblem is a serpent, the wisest of creatures. Ooh. Our house colors are emerald green and a silver. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so thankful that I'm Slytherin. And before we move on, I did want to say that the wizardingworld.com literally has a bunch of different quizzes. You can take a quiz to see what kind of wand you're going to get or your Patronus. They have all kinds of quizzes. So if you like this kind of video, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up and do comment down below because maybe we can kind of like continue the series. And maybe I can take some more quizzes and figure out those other things too. So of course, let me know. But I think now, especially because I'm in Slytherin, I'm going to change into something a little bit more fitting and I will be right back. Much better. Now that we're in our green velvet robe, let's get doing our makeup. All right, guys. So I pulled all of my green palettes that I have pretty much. I'm just going to try to create as cute of a green look as I can. And I think I'm just going to kind of go through this makeup like silently. I'm not going to tell you guys every step just because you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Of course, I'll list all my products down below. I think I'm going to use mostly some shades from the So Jaded palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. I just really like these green tones in here. So we're going to play around with a little bit of these while I take my quiz. And of course, I'll put the Amazon link for these Harry Potter brushes down below. These are actually so much better quality than I thought they were going to be. Like, they're like kind of heavy. Not going to lie. But I'm just going to start kind of carving out my eye look and then we'll jump right on into the quiz. All right, now that we have one eye kind of mapped out and laid down, we're going to go on with our first Harry Potter question. And of course, play at home if you want to play along with me. First question is easy. What is Lord Voldemort's real name? Voldemort's real name, if you didn't know, is Tom Marvolo Riddle. I believe Marvolo was like his dad's name or something like that. The next question is, what is the last line of the book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Literally not freaking sure at all. Maybe until the false, I don't, I don't know. Honest to God, I'm really not sure about it. What is the last line of the book? I'm going to say, oh, was that right? Until the false, said Dumbledore with a nod. Is that right? Ooh, I don't know. Okay. And I don't think this quiz lets you know if you have the right answer or not until the very end. So we're going to have to see if I'm right at the end, I guess. All right. So question number three, according to the Dursleys, how did Harry's parents die? I believe they told him that they were in a car crash. The questions are tricky, though, because the answers are in a plane crash, in a train crash, in a bus crash, in a car crash. 
So it's in some kind of a crash. You just kind of got to figure out, I guess, which one, basically. I'm going to say in a car crash. All right, so what is Dumbledore's full name? Which, it's nice that you have the answers in front of you on this quiz. Of course, I'll link this one down below as well if you want to take it. But he literally has five names. Like, who has five names? Dumbledore does. So all the answers range and pretty much just you know, switch the names around. I think it's Albus, Percival, Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore. I could be totally wrong. I totally didn't even remember that Brian was one of his names. Like, how is Dumbledore going to have a name as, like, Brian? Like, what? All right, so next question. What is the symbol for the Ravenclaw house? I mean, a raven? <laughs> it's literally one of the questions. I'm not sure. All right. Literally raven, but okay. I mean, it's in the name, so I would hope that it's a raven. All right, question number, what, seven, Rob? Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee. It's a perfect map of what? Hogwarts, London Underground, North America, or Diagon Alley? What? Now, because the books are different from the movies and I'm only on book six, maybe I don't know this yet. I don't know. I'm going to say Hogwarts, because maybe. All right, now that this cut crease is laid down, here we go. How many sickles are in a galleon? I don't even know Harry Potter currency at all, so I'm just guessing 15. What are the three cores Garrick Ollivander uses in his wand making? Ooh, okay. Phoenix feathers, dragon heartstring, and unicorn hair, maybe that one. It's definitely phoenix feathers, and it's definitely dragon heartstring. So I'm going to guess that one with unicorn hair. All right, next one. A person born into a wizarding family who cannot do magic is called a squib. Ooh, that was a really tricky one to ask if it's a mudblood, half-blood muggle, a squib. All right. Next question. Who gave us the Marauder's Map? Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, Prongs, right? Mooney is in moon for the werewolf. Wormtail for the rat. Padfoot for the dog and then prongs. Prongs. Ooh, prongs for the stag. Little prongs. Okay. All right, guys. I'm just taking this just light iridescent green shadow from a Kat Von D little palette right over top where I put all of that cut crease stuff. I mean, this is like a Shrek green. We are not going down the Slytherin path. How many points is the snitch worth in Quidditch? I'm going to say 100 because I literally have no idea. We're going to try to do a speed round of these so we can kind of get through them because I do not know how many are even on this thing. Who founded the Order of the Phoenix? I'm pretty sure Dumbledore did. I mean, hello, he is Dumbledore after all. All right, 14. Which brothers are supposedly the original possessors of the Deathly Hallows? I believe it's the Percival brothers, no? Percival brothers, the Princip brothers, the Possimo brothers, and the... I think I just want to say Percival just because of Dumbledore's middle name, but isn't he like related to them? I don't know. I'm just going to say Percival Brothers, I guess. What is the last line of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows? I don't know because I haven't read the book yet, but I think it's the scar had not pained Harry for 19 years all was well. I'm pretty sure. What are Albus Dumbledore's siblings and names? Um, Ariana, like my Ariana Grande, and Aberforth. That sounds about right. Which of these characters mentioned in Harry Potter was a real life person? I think it was Nicholas Flamel, but I could be wrong. I actually call my boyfriend Nick, Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> Which is not a house in the North American Wizarding School of Ilvermorny? Oh my God, these are so hard. Thunderbird, Wampus, Horned Rhino, Pukwudgie. I, I don't think a horned rhino is one. Number 19, who put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire? I feel it like, wasn't it Barty Crouch? There are so many people I get so confused, honestly. Even while I'm reading the book, I'm like, wait, who is this person? Because they all have weird names. What is Hermione's middle name? I'm Hermione Jean? No. I'm gonna say Jean. That sounds right. Hermione Jean, not really, but I mean, I'm sure it's close enough. Last question, how would you rate this quiz? I'm going to say I loved it because, you know, 
Ooh, it says nice. You're a very skilled wizard. Share your results. So I got 13 out of 20. I mean, if we're not doing so well, it still says I'm pretty skilled. So, hey. All right, guys, I'm going to go finish my eyes off camera and we will be right back. All right, guys, so I am back. This is the completed look. I'm actually obsessed with how it came out. Let me know down below, have you ever worn green eyeshadow? I don't think I ever have gone all greened out with it. I actually kind of like it though. I don't know if I would wear it really out and about, but it's cute for the time being. Of course, let me know down below if you like this makeup look. I, like I said, love how it came out. I think it came out pretty cute. Can't complain. Thank you guys so much as always for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just trying to bring a little bit of some fun to the table with all this craziness going on. I hope all of you guys are staying healthy and safe out there and staying inside if you can. Once again, I will go ahead and link not only the Sorting Hat quiz down below, but also the Harry Potter quiz that I took that I didn't do that great on. Maybe you guys can beat me. And I don't want to say I really do genuinely like these Harry Potter brushes a lot. I think they're so fun if you're a fan of Harry Potter. Why not? I mean, they're pretty good quality. And of course, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe here to my channel. I post new videos every Friday of the week. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.